Let's move on to shipping and delivery, which is where you can decide on your shipping prices and your shipping options. So we can go to manage rates right here. And by default, there's already some shipping um, set up. So we have domestic shipping United States with some rates already set up right here and then the rest of the world as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of these shipping zones right here. So I'm going to click on delete and then also delete uh, rest of the world shipping right here and I'm going to keep it simple I'm going to simply do free shipping for all products worldwide so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, down here click on create shipping zone then here we can create different shipping zones for different countries for example we can create one for the United States for Canada and for other countries and um, like I said I'm going to simply do one for the entire world to make this easy I'm going to choose the rest of the world right here click on done and now I've created a new shipping zone rest of the world however we don't have any rates yet for this shipping zone so we're gonna we're gonna have to click on add rate right here and let's name this free shipping and then we're gonna keep the price at zero dollars click on done and now we have free shipping for all over the world if you wanna add other shipping zones, for example, you wanna charge something for the United States, simply click on create shipping zone and then create a separate one for the United States. And whenever somebody checks out from the United States, this shipping rate will apply to that customer.